Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draft the um, the top part of the dress that you've seen on the thumbnail. All right. So as you can see, before the video started, I'm sure I must have listed out the measurements that I'm using for this draft, and I have gone ahead to place all my um, vertical measurements, as the measurements that start from my shoulder going down. For example, we have from here to here that we're on that bust length. So this part here is our shoulder, so this is where our shoulder will be placed. This is where our bust will be placed. Um, I found my, I placed my under bust length, that is the distance from the shoulder to the under bust length, uh, which was 14, and counted 4 inches up, and that's where I will place my bust. This here is the half cut, but for this particular um, draft and for, if we are following the design that is on the um, picture, we are not going to place the cut at 2 inches after the um, the under bust length that's two inches after here instead we're going to come four inches down so we're bringing the cuts down some more all right so that's this line that i have here that i called cuts all right so that's how i found all my measurements so this is my under bust length four inches after is where you would place the cuts so when all that has been done the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place all our measurements across all right so starting from the top part you're going to place whatever you have at the shoulder we're going to divide this by two. Then you are going to slope your shoulder by one inch. And then after that, we're going to place our bust measurement. So 38 divided by four is nine point. Um, it's nine point five. So the bust we're working with is 38. 38 is nine point five. So I'm going to place 9.5 at the bust over here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the under bust length. All right. So the under bust length that we're working with is, and the under bust round that we place at the under bust length is 32. 32 divided by 4 should be 8 inches. So I'm going to place 8 inches here. And whatever you place here, you're going to have to place it at this point right here. All right. So whatever you place at the under bust length, make sure to place it at the cut. Now. If you are dealing with a person that um, has um, a bit of a belly, I would say still leave here the same and make the person squeeze into it. Because if you end up placing the belly here, you might have a sort of V. So what you want to do, whatever you place here, irrespective of however the person's body is, make sure that you place this down here. If it's going to be an issue for the person to wear it, um, just use a very, very strong zip. Or at the back, at the bottom part of the back, you can use... Um, you can make um, loops so that the, the, that that part of the back will be will be tied um, as as opposed to being um, a zipper, but so that the whole thing is you know snug and, and you know accentuate the curves a lot. Make sure that whatever you place here, you place here. Next thing I'm going to place is I'm going to place the armhole. So the um, arm hole, the bust is 38. 38 divided by six plus 1.5 is 7.8. I'm going to add. I'm going to approximate that to the nearest whole number. So I'm going to place eight inches. For the armhole over here. All right. And then I'm going to draw my line. All right. After you have done that, you're going to join all the curves, all the dots you have together. The entire top part of this dress is a princess dot, but there's, you know, you would have to go about it a certain way in order to achieve what we. What you can see on the picture. So the first thing you're going to do now is you're going to have to turn this into a princess dot. So for that you're going to need the person's bust point to bust point on nipple to nipple. Nipple to nipple I'm working with is um, eight inches. Eight inches divided by two is four inches plus half an inch. That's four point five. Half an inch I'm adding there is for allowance. So I'm going to place that on all the lines I have down here. Alright, so after I roll the line, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to measure my armhole from here to here with my tape. And whatever I find, um, whatever I, I have, I'll divide it by two and make a mark. So measure around your arm. So here I have nine inches. Nine inches divided by two is 4.5. So I'm going to make a mark at 4.5. Then I'm going to connect this point here to that point. 
Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come up here by half an inch and I'm going to come down by one inch. This is in order to lay here flat to take away any potential excess you will have at the armhole. And then I'm going to extend the bottom here by one inch, all right, so that by the time we want to stitch here, we'll meet here. Because of this thing, when we are joining everything together, we will not end up having um, a pattern where the bottom is shorter than the top. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to handle the bottom part of, um, of here. So remember we are creating a princess that now, in this case, depends on, on, on how you want to go about it. You can use either, um, you can use any of the two princess dad methods that I have taught. So I'm going to drop links in the description of the two different ways I go about cutting my princess dads. So you can see that. But for this, I'm going to use the method where I push all the excess to all the um, excess to one side, as opposed to sharing it, you know, between both sides of the line. If you see those videos, you understand what I what I just said. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to come up here by half an inch. That half an inch is to create a little lift at the under bust. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to come from here. I'm going to come in here by two inches from here and make a mark all the way down to the end. All right. Next thing I'll do, I'll connect from here to here. And with that, I've created the princess that. Now, if you want to see a video where I break down um, everything concerning the princess that why why I'm placing two here when should you place two if you are if you are working with a boss of 32 do you place two and if you're working with a boss of 50 do you still place two all those questions will be answered in the video um, that I drop in the link uh, below all right this is just this particular design um, this video is made just to tackle this particular design um, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to pay back all our measurements so here I'm going to pay back to 1.5 and here I'm going to pay back to two inches on the side. So here you are going to pay 1.5 here, so that by the time you join it, the armhole is not too short. All right. And here we're going to pay back two inches because of this, and here two inches because of this. Connect all the lines together. The next part we're going to tackle is the neckline. Now this neckline is quite close to the neck. Okay, it's quite close over here. So what we're going to do is for the neckline width, we're going to place a width of just 2.5 inches. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the center of the bust, and we're going to come in at just 1.25 inches. All right. Now this is around the bust line, just 1.25. That's going to be more than enough for um, the opening. All right. That's more than enough cleavage um, because if you take it, the 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 deeper this 1.25 that I've placed is, the deeper, the larger the number you use, the more risk you will stand of your of your areola being exposed. If you're a person that has um, one that's quite that covers a large amount of your bust, um, so with 1.25 here, just to be safe, next thing we are going to do is we are going to taper this out gently when we are drawing our line. But let's get to drawing our line. I'm going to connect this line first to here. Alright, and then I'm going to simply taper this line out. Make sure to taper it out one inch before the end. So make sure by the time you get to one inch before the end of your draft here, you taper it out. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place a neckline depth. A neckline depth over here, I'm going to bring it down a bit. Um, I'm going to place a neckline depth of three and a half inches. All right, see that? Let's simply make a mark there, and then you're going to make a curve. With that, we have drafted the, the first part of all the pieces that make up our dress. So this part in my hands now, okay? This part is going to be used to cut your net. All right, because it's a net that is holding all of this together. Make sure you get the right shape for the person's skin. But one thing you must know, because I don't think I'm going to make a sewing video on this. So one thing you must know is that make sure you add half an inch. Please take note of all the, of all the numbers I'm giving you. Because if you don't keep half an inch, when you want to sew, you will have nothing to sew. So make sure that when you are cutting this, you cut with half an inch 
of sewing allowance on every part of here, all right? So that by the time you want to join it, about half an inch is what is consumed and this is what you are left with, please. And this pattern, the next thing we're going to do before we move on, let's add half inch allowance to this part here for our joining of the shoulder. And we're going to add half inch at the bottom. And then, you see this first one and a half, two inches, two inches I please. This is not our sewing allowance. This is just the allowance that's supposed to pay for this part here, all right? The sewing allowance is supposed to pay for this part over here, okay? This cut, this space we have. We have not added the allowance that we will need for um, joining them together. So you see, by the time we are joining this part to this part, we will sew half an inch, so half inch will be lost here, here. You see this part here? half inch will be lost on both of them running all the way down so that's one inch we need to keep one inch allowance that will pay for the joining this first allowance is paying for the cut second allowance will pay for the joining and the third allowance you would add of just one inch is just so that you have something inside when you sew alright so make sure to place an extra two inches here so with that we have placed with that, we have placed all of our sewing allowance. We have allowance at the shoulder, allowance on the side for both cutting, stitching, and allowance on the side. And we have our allowance on the bottom. Now, if you see this, um, if you take a look at this um, dress, you can see that there are different levels to it. There is the net part, even besides the mesh that will run in the center. We have the net that will show at the shoulder before you can see the main um, you know, part of, the, of uh, the body inside. So what you're seeing here is yellow. Um, there's a yellow here that I see through. And then before the satin now starts halfway. Let me just cut it out. This is how, this is the first step of the cutting. This part that we're cutting will be used to cut the lace that will sit on top of the yellow. Please, I hope that you are listening. Alright, so these are the first parts that we have. This here will be used to cut the net. Alright? This here will be used to cut the net. Make sure to add the half inch I've pointed out here. This part here will be used to cut the lace. Alright? So make sure to also add half an inch here. Alright? That will be consumed when you are joining the, this part of the body to the, to the net. Alright? So this part here now is the lace. So the yellow part that goes from top all the way down all right i'll use this pattern to cut the net i'll use this pattern to cut the lace now the last part we're going to need to know how to cut is the satin that's the part that's going to sit underneath that's the part that actually covers her body because you can see here all right and you can see the center but there's a yellow here so um in order to um, cut the last part. So before I go ahead to cut any part of my fabric, I'll cut the net and I'll cut the lace. Now, for how we will cut the yellow that's underneath, what you are going to do is you are going to you are going to measure from here. You're going to come to four inches and you're going to make a mark. Simply just rule the line across. Now you can come in deeper, all right? So you can you can cut all the way down to six inches, but just know that the lower you come, the more skin would show underneath your net, all right? So for something modest, you can do four. If you want, you can make sure you can cut it in such a way that it stops just at the top of where your princess, when you join everything, where everything will stop. If you want to come lower, you can come lower and then cut even into part of your princess that. Okay, but just understand that the lower you come, the more your bust is going to show. So you decide how you how low you want it to be and cut accordingly. But know that the safe a safe place to cut it is you can simply cut it at the end of this angle that you have over here. If you want, you can also cut it with a bit of a curve here if you want it to have that. But I think according to the um, according to the pictures, it's simply just a straight cut. All right. Now, you can see, this pattern now will be used to cut the yellow part of the top part of the dress. But make sure you make this cut after you have cut the lace. 
right? Don't make that mistake of after cutting this, you now go and try to cut the lace and join the shoulder back and all of that. So the first part you cut is the center, that's the net. Second part you cut is the lace when it's whole. The third part you cut is the satin that's going to be underneath and the lace will lay on top of here. So now if we have a pattern that has that shoulder, by the time you place the lace on top, you will see that you have lace with um, a see-through lace and then all of a sudden there's a cut there and the satin continues from there with the lace on top of it. All right. So yeah, that's how you cut the top part of this. As for the back, the back is just a regular, um, back is just a regular bodice. The link in the description would um, explain the, the princess that part, and I think I, I, I also explain how to cut the back in that video as well. But in this video, I'm not going to attack that. This is just how to go about cutting the front. All right. Um, yeah. So that's the end of the video. If you like the video, please give it a like. Uh, I'm going to see you in the next video. Do have a lovely day. Bye bye.